you know where you are you are in blessed by friend network then jalon enugu state is boring nigerian soldiers are terrorists heading the flannies as they go ahead to massacre innocent enugu youth hello viewers welcome to my noble channel right now we are here to preach the true message if you take a look in those two videos you will see that the other one of it was flanny terrorists or sacking all the Enugu state in fact our brothers and sisters on their own if you should look to that video very well at the same time that they are on their own you will check out the other video we will see that flanny terrorist soldiers that they brought our land in these guys with military uniform at the other hand chasing our innocent brothers holding them down one after the other and their leaders has nothing to say our governors are all compromised. They are criminals from the of hell. I will say this before and I will continue to say it. But I'm sorry for any good youth because they brought what is happening to them. When they were busy, some of them taking the military because military is with them. And they forgot that these military is with them are people meant recruited. In the name yeah, of repentant book Arab. Yeah. And there we are. Recruited into the military. They look who you forgot this. They took them, showing them where ESN camp was. These are part of the things that made EFN to lift leave that place. Why should people who call themselves brothers? sell others they can't die for the blood but they will sell them they are there for their protection nothing else but they we are some of them we are murdered because of the youth of enugu state we are the ones who took soldiers to their hiding and hide out but no matter what they are brothers and things is getting hot right now as we speak, people are running. In fact, Troy Flanese are taking over their land. This is because the soldiers are aiding them. I believe you not forgotten the words of Danjuma, former military general. General Danjuma, what he said. But before that, Mazen and the Kanu told you that things like this will happen. They are coming. The government would deny it. They would deceive you, including your government. And today you have seen it. All his prophecies has come to pass. And this is how the Afar restoration will come to pass too. He is a prophet, a known prophet, not all these ones claiming to be prophet or they are lying from the other side of the mouth. Today our brothers are being killed, both by the military and both by the tribes. A massacre spray is going on in a land in Enugu state. And when they finish succeeding in doing this, they will refer to other places because they have brought them in. This was the handwork of Mietiala. We warned you why he was claiming that he's going to recruit vigilante in our land. All those people being dropped down in Enugu state, we are the making of Mietiala of Nigeria. But they are governor of Enugu state refused to do something who, when people were calling him to rescue them to ask questions who are hell of those people being imported into our land in enugu state because they were they, they, they were be, they were dropping down with helicopter they dropped them down with helicopter and people saw it they were, were in, they were somehow in, in, in a mufti 
And the question we ask, and some of you claim it was a uh, military doing exercise there. If military is doing that to do exercise, you know, how come now? Fulani Janja, we are killing people, terrorists are killing people there. And military has nothing to say, they have nothing to offer. Instead, they are going the other way around, killing, I will not send you to. When I told you that here, yeah, Igbo leaders have sold their land, take it from me. These governors, they are criminally minded. The other one claimed he's an engineer. He was a billionaire at the age of 20. And we have saw how he became a billionaire at the age of 20. He was a 419er. Because the kind of atrocities he has continued to commit is what is keeping him both the way they are today. Making money is not everything. But when you're a slave in your own land, that is the worst thing that can happen to any man. And this is what we are seeing today. If you don't know it now, people are, some of you are slaves in your land, but that cannot be. I believe in this world that say, do me or do you, man, no go first. If you think that you have the power, the impetus to the audacity, the nerves, that ask me, why can't I do, I do so back? Time has come. Like I said before, you can see our brothers crying, running away from the online. First time in the history that a new state is running away from the online. Maybe soon they will become like a Boeing state, a, a, a Benue state. But they have refugee camp everywhere. That is what is going to happen. In fact, it has already started happening. They are now living in refugee camp. Somewhere around. They left their land. Because why? Because they allowed themselves to be used by that abode that caused himself. If I go in government house. Our Lord, the leaders, especially our governors, are vagabonds. They are vagabonds, non entities. Who doesn't know they are left and right? And because we have not allowed them to commit all sorts of atrocities while they move freely after they left or leave office, this is why they have continued to do so. Did Babu did not commit anything. Mistakenly, his soldiers, his police shot women, protested against him. Mistakenly. But he went to jail, and after that, he was beaten up in the road of Paris. But we have continued to keep us. Why our leaders continue to cause atrocities against us, and after leaving office, we will continue to watch them like Mughus that we are. Yes, that is what we are. If not, they will not have the nerves. If not, why those people were dropping down in our land with helicopter and people were shouting? That thing that in the government house of Enugu State should have would have come out and say, Who the hell are these people being dropped down in my my state? But he couldn't. Because he chose the woman rapper. I told you, they are woman rappers, condom, condom, political allies. That's what they are. And this is why we have to deal with them. It's getting too much. Innocent people are murdered every day. These people being killed. Believe me, some of, some of them are hungry. They have nothing to eat. They have been there for so long, they have nothing to eat because no job. Some of them are university graduates. But that they got nothing to eat, and some idiots, some entities who have no certificate are busy killing them. And you expect people are called to keep quiet. Look, I'm a madman if you don't know. Time has come for the needful to be done. If we continue this way, things will get wrong. But first of all, why we could not protect our land from these criminals? That came from whatever I heard they claimed they came from. We should do the nephew to make sure Mazin Nam become his list. After his list, then let us see who is who. I believe you should watch the video. And you can see how our innocent brothers are suffering. 
at the age of their production, they have been murdered in Cobra because of British government. I've said it and I continue to say British government, they are lunatics because of British government. Unless the day they come out and renounce Nigeria and told them that what they are doing is wrong, if not, I'll continue to say that they are lunatics. If they continue this way, believe me, they will regret all the atrocities they have committed against innocent Biafrans that was in their land peacefully when Lord Lugat came criminally executed most of them brought them together by force to create this nonsense thing called Nega area to the zoo from pit of hell a banana animal land I think I've come to the end of this news stay blessed Biafra almost hear you